The retail pharmacy sector is poised to exercise stricter control over sales of medicines containing codeine in January 2014, asking consumers to provide personal details so pharmacists can track the consumption and help tackle abuse. But what is codeine and what is all the fuss about? To explain the situation, we have Franza Katz from Pick and Pay Pharmacy and Dr. Darren Green, both regular experts on the show. Welcome to Dr. Gordon's Guts. Darren, let's start with you. Let's talk about codeine and its current uses in medicine. Sure, codeine falls into the category predominantly as a painkiller and it's derived from the opium plant, which a lot of people know for its poisonous but also hallucinogenic properties. What makes uh, codeine so topical, it has many other uses besides being a painkiller. Yeah. It can be used as an anti tussive where it suppresses cough. It's also used as an antihypertensive, can help when someone's got diarrhea that can't stop. That's why too much codeine can actually constipate Cause constipation. So it's a great drug. What are the problems with it? Dependence is a major issue. So using the drug is not the problem. Yeah. Overusing it becomes the crucial matter. Yeah. And uh, dependence, long term, uh, acts as a crutch for people that are looking for something to replace the stresses in their lives. Um, also, the Medical side effects include abdominal pain, cramping, constipation uh, continuously. They can actually get dizziness, drowsiness, dry mouth, headaches, and uh, just a general feeling of being a bit out of sorts. So there's going to be these new uh, regulations. Mm. How is coding sold and what, what are the changes going to be? Um, all medicines containing codeine sold as an over-the-counter medication, yeah. which means you have pharmacists advise therapy with it. So yes. you can't just walk in like you can buy paracetamol from any shelf in the in the pharmacy or from a supermarket. Yeah. You have to go to the pharmacy side and ask the pharmacist for the medication. So you can come in, ask for um, your specific painkiller that you know helps for your headache and that is how you would be able to buy any codeine containing headache tablet or cough mixture. And what are the changes going to be? The changes are that as pharmacists we um, by law we have to look after the well-being of the patient. Yeah. We are there to make sure that the patient take the right medication, the right dose and that they don't overuse and yes. misuse yes. the drug. Okay. So that is why for many, many years um, you would take down the name and address of the patient. But the problem comes in when I come to your pharmacy and I buy something, let's use codeine, codeine yes. containing tablet, mm -hmm. but I abuse it. So I don't, my 100 tablets run out after two days. Then I go to his pharmacy. Yes. He also takes down my name and address. But you two don't know about each other. Yes. So I can shop from different pharmacies. And where this is changing, from January, all pharmacies in the country will have a database that is shared. Wow. And when you come and buy any product, over-the-counter product that contains codeine, you would have to give your ID number. And then through that number, we will then put your name, address, and your ID number into the database. Should you go then to another pharmacy two days later, they, they would put the ID number in, and when they put the ID number in, that will bring right. up your past history of where you have bought codeine-containing products. And it's not there to, you know, we, we're not trying to tell the customer, no, you're not allowed to buy it. We're there to try and help them and say, hang on, but you're using too much yes. of these tablets. Right. What is the problem? Yep. Mm. So it's a way of trying to control the, the misuse of codeine and also trying to help the patient. Darren, any final thoughts? I think one of the most important things for people to realize is that it's an incredible drug, codeine, and it's often hidden in, in multi-formulations. In other words, the name of the drug won't indicate always that it has codeine in it. So if you are taking medication specifically for pain, remember that the pain is telling you something. Don't try and numb the pain all the time, not finding out what the cause and the trigger is of your pain. Treat the cause of the pain, and in that way you won't overuse and you won't abuse medication, you know. So that's my advice. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us on Doctor's Orders, sharing your expertise, and I'm sure this will assist consumers in the future. It's at the All Seasons Milk Factory where we found goodness produced on a daily basis. Pick and pay, always there for you.